Welcome back to Beer Genius. My name is Jameson Huckaba. You can find us on the web at beergenius.net. We are to our third and final beer in the Ska Brewing Company can series. I would imagine with the response that these have received uh, that they'll do more in cans, and I certainly hope they do. Uh, I also hope that other craft breweries jump on the bandwagon as well. I like cans because they reduce oxygen uh, permeability. Um, they're much, much better at preserving the beer from the brewery to your mouth than bottles are. And no light gets through the can whatsoever. It also keeps oxygen out for a longer period of time. They're also super easy to throw in your bag and go. Uh, it's not as big of a deal uh, to store them upright. You obviously wouldn't bottle condition in a can. Uh, I, actually, I don't know if, if, if you can. Uh, that's a good thought, actually. Anyway, cans are also more sustainable. They're much easier to recycle than glass. For those of you who uh, that's important to, keep that in mind. Other great beers and cans, uh, I'm seeing quite a bit more from microbreweries such as New Belgium, putting some of the more popular beers in cans. Go Fat Tire. Uh, I think I've also seen 1554 in a can. Somebody correct me on that if I'm wrong. We're to the third and final series. We've done True Blonde Ale, also Mo Modus Hopperandi, which was a phenomenal IPA. The Blonde was excellent as well. We're now uh, to the special ESB Ale. Again, this is Scott Brewing Company from Durango, Colorado. And uh, I'd like to go ahead and give this a whirl and see what happens. Pouring into kind of a traditional pint glass here. It's kind of a light honey color. Kind of a deep, rich golden. And you can see from where you are, the head that this beer pours is dissipating pretty quickly. Um, looks like a nice beer. It's, it's, it's on the lighter side for uh, some of the ESBs that I've seen and had the pleasure of tasting. Let's go ahead and smell this and see what we get. It's real buttery. Um, it's it's, it's uh, bready, buttery, <laughs> like bread and butter. It's, it's, it's really sort of got a light lacing of honey in there. Uh, let's see. getting just a bit of that maltiness uh, that should be present in, in this sort of a, a, of a bitter. Uh, those of you who are bitter fans, this may be slightly different than, than what you're used to. It may be the yeast strain that they're using. This doesn't... Let's go ahead and give it a taste and then I'll judge more. Exactly what I smelled. really not a bad beer um, it's not a bad bitter it's it's um, not awesome either it, not really doing a whole lot for me there's just not a whole lot going on here again you get that real buttered <coughs> excuse me get that real buttered up of feeling of, of uh, some of the bitters that you're going to get but it's also a lot crisper than a lot of ESBs it doesn't taste like they used any sort of British strain whatsoever, uh, sticking true to the style, which is fine, you know, you're certainly allowed to do that. I'm just not sure that using a more uh, Americanized version of an ale yeast in this particular beer did it any favors. What would this go well with? Something tame. Uh, you wouldn't drink this with anything sweet whatsoever. Uh, you'd more so put it with like a boring chicken or something, uh, like a chicken dish. Um, you could also, you could also do something like a, like a lighter meat fare, uh, of some type. Um, a braised short rib, it would go fine with, it would really balance it out. Not digging this beer. Uh, it, it's okay. Um, it's maybe not the best example of an ESB that I've ever had. You can find a better one in Fuller's, perhaps. Um, I'm going to put this beer at an 82 out of 100. Scott Brewing Company, Durango, Colorado. This is the special ESB ale, and uh, 82 out of 100 uh, is, is the rating. 
it would go fine with some mild um, meat dishes, maybe, maybe even like a, like a pork roast of some type. It'd be just fine with that. So um, again, special ESB ta- special ESB ale, 82 out of 100. I'm Jameson Huckabo with Beer Genius. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you again soon. We'll do some more beer and cans uh, coming up soon. Buck Bean Brewing Company, if you've ever heard of them, uh, I believe they're from Nevada and uh, hoping to have some of that in my possession soon and uh, we'll go further on this can kick until next time thanks for watching we appreciate it so much have a wonderful day